What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday. Today we're gonna go about as rogue as you can go. And today we're playing a Mega Aerodactyl deck. Yeah, a Mega Aerodactyl. I kind of forgot that this was a card, and uh, I was like, oh. We're going to play Mega Aerodactyl. This is going to be a lot of fun. And we're going to see, can I get this deck to work? And uh, does it have potential or not? That is what we're going to find out today. So let's go over Mega Aerodactyl and see what's it about. So this is Mega Aerodactyl. has 210 HP. The, the symbol for it looks like a Zubat. The Aerodactyl does. Uh, but 210 HP. And it has the attack Rock Drill Dive. It does 110 damage. And this deck does 10 damage to each bench Pokemon both yours and your opponent. Not only is a fighting energy and a DCE, so you do have the potential to attack with it turn two. If you get extremely, extremely lucky, you can attack with a turn two. And that is what our main attacker is going to be. It's going to be this Mega Aerodactyl EX. 110 uh, damage is what we're going to do. Now, we have this other Aerodactyl, which is a, with its baby stage. 170 HP. Rock Smash does 30. Flip Coin of Hazard attack does 30 more damage. And Land Crush does 70 damage as well. So it's an okay attack. Uh, but how we're going to power up these Aerodactyls is through these Regirock EXs. Regirock EX has the power, or the Regi, Regi power, the, fight, the attacks of your fighting Pokemon, excluding Regirock EX, do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Uh, so the plan is it's going to have three Regirocks on the field, so that way you get boosted to 140, all right? And then with that, you get a strong energy, so now you're doing 160. And with the fighting stadium, you can do 180 damage, and that's what we're going to try to do today. Can we make this deck work or not? We need three Red Rocks, a fighting stadium, and a strong energy to one-shot most of the EX Pokemon with 180 HP. It starts getting weird with Mega Pokemon. Yeah, that's, that's the main thing. It gets weird with Megas. Now, to help us out, we do have Shamans, of course, to help set up. We have a Hoopa with Scoundering. Get searched for three EX Pokemon. And one Mr. Mime with the Bench Barrier. Remember that it does 10 damage to all of your Bench Pokemon as well. So the plan is, is you're going to have three Red Rocks, a Mr. Mime, and an Aerodactyl on your bench with an Aerodactyl in, in the active spot. That is the plan, and that is what we're going to try to do today to set up. All right, so we're going to play four Train as well. Pretty standard stuff. Four Ultra Ball and four Via Seeker. Not really that many uh, supporter cards or trainer cards. Just Trainer Small, Ultra Ball, and uh, Via Seeker. You could play maybe Heavy Ball to search out like a, uh, not even Hoopa, just mainly just Reg Rock. I mean, Air Dactyl has a one. Uh, this has a one. You could play Love Ball maybe to search out Mr. Mime. But this is what we're playing today. Just four Trainer Small, four Ultra Ball, four Via Seeker. Just very light on trainer cards. Now, the supporter cards where it gets really, really heavy. Uh, one AZ to put one Pokemon back into your hand. Uh, this way, if they do life center of a red rock, you can easily just AZ it, put back into your hand. Two Karina to search for a fighting Pokemon and an item card. Uh, this can get you... The main thing Karina's getting you is your Lynx, uh, Flow Stone, and maybe an Ultra Ball Trainers Mall, which is really, really nice. Mo mainly just Ultra Balls. Why would you Karina for a Trainers Mall? That would be crazy. Like, if you Karina for a Trainers Mall, like... I don't understand. Uh, two Life Center, bring a Pokemon off the bench. Four N and four Sycamore. Now, you could cut maybe an N or Sycamore... For a, a, uh, a professor letter, so that we can Karina for a Pokemon in a letter uh, to help you out some more. You could add a Heavy Ball so you can Karina for like an Aerodactyl and a Heavy Ball to get on Regirock. It's such a weird deck, uh, but this is what we're going to try today. Uh, three Fighting Stadiums so that we do 20 more damage to the active EX so that way we can't hit that 180 magical number. And we play three Skyfoot as well. We play 3-3 three, three right now uh, just for consistency reasons so that we can try to get it out. And the reason why I play Skyfield is because you're going to put down Hoopa, you're going to put down Shaman, and once you get the perfect setup, you're going to put the Fighting Stadium down, and you're going to discard your Hoopas and Shaman, and just leave you with the three Ranger Rocks, the Aerodactyl, and the Mr. Mime, which is the perfect setup, and that's what you want to do. Uh, three Mer Mer <laughs> Mega... Three Aerodactyl Spearlings, so that way your turn does not end when you Mega Evolve. Two Full Stone to give your free retreat to Red Rocks. If you notice, we play four Red Rock. It's kind of who you want to start with. Like, he has 180 HP. He's really not getting knocked out turn one for the majority of the time. So that's good. He can take a hit. Uh, let's see, like turn one, you put an energy to Aerodactyl. They hit your Red Rock next turn to your tree. Uh, evolve, DCE, take a knockout that turn, which is really, really nice. Uh, four strong energy, so you do 20 more damage to the active Pokemon. Four DCE and two fighting energy. You could maybe play more fighting energy. You could play a fresh letter. This is like a very early stage deck. And I'm not 100% sure how to play this deck. But this is what we're going to go with today. And we're going to see what happens. Can Mega Aerodactyl 
actually take games with, can you actually win games with this deck or not? I say yes, it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't really seen that many people play Mega, Mega Aerodactyl. I know it is hard to get because it does come in those blister promo packs, but today we're going to see what happens. Is this secretly the play for Nationals? That's the real question. I will say probably not, but we're going to see if we can have some fun today, and let's see what happens with the deck right now. All right, pretty good. Vinko, Tom, Laz, blah, 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 playing a grass and a colors deck. Uh, this could be a Vesco Valplum deck, and if that is, we're in trouble. All right, but uh, let's see. They're calling the coin up, and we, we are going second. Oh, man, if this is Vesco Valplum, I'll cry uh, just a little bit, but we'll see what happens. Looks like we did get a mulligan. Like, if the fighting team was a Pokemon and they had Valplum, we'd probably just scoop and go home because, uh... That's really bad. But let's see what my opponent is playing. Uh, hopefully we don't have a hand like this again. And we'll press done. Gonna shuffle the hand back into the deck. My opponent still doesn't know what we're playing. Alright, so... Oh, no. The worst thing to happen happened. We started with Hoopa. The one Pokemon we don't want to start with. Like, I'm fine with starting with Shaman. I'm fine with starting with Regirock. We play four Regirock, so we're trying to start with Regirock. We start with the Hoopa, and there's a Spinner X, so this is most likely going to be a Mega Sceptile and or a uh, da -da 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 -da, regular Sceptile? No, Superior, sorry. Uh, Trainer's Mel, going to get the top four cards of their deck, and let's see what opponent decides to get. It's an Ultra Ball, so we're going to find out what they are playing. Um, Okay, so there's an Ultra Ball, going to discard a Grass and a Muscle Band, and let's see, what, does my opponent get a Sceptile or do they get a Snivy? Uh, it looks like they're going to get Shaman EX instead, and they're going to set up for only three cards. Uh, Love Ball, this will probably get out of Snivy. Like, Love Ball, definitely a showcase enough Snivy. Now, luckily, are we to Lightning and not to Grass, which is great. All right, so uh, Snivy coming down. Muscle Band on to the Snivy. Shaman is setting up for four whole new cards. All right. Okay. So, uh, going to set up for a bunch of new cards. There's a um, Trainer's Mug. Going to get top four cards of their deck. So, we have to knock out... Sup superiors and four of them my opponent doesn't look like they played that much ex pokemon snivy coming down or uh Starvine coming down we are not paralyzed okay an ultra ball coming down discarding a grass and a max and a max revive is that a, is that a max revive yep all right uh getting a septile so they're playing septile and superior interesting and and woo all right because our hand was pretty Pretty bad. Like, it's still a bad situation because we start with Hoopa, which is what we really don't want to start with. But, hey, there's an Aerodactyl, Regirock, Spirit Link, Trainer's Mel, Loveball. And, uh, okay, so our hand went from bad to okay. Like, we got a Link, Regirock. We can get a turn to Mega Aerodactyl. Spinner right coming down. So, we might have a chance. Like, my opponent can't knock us out next turn, uh, which is great. There's a uh, Superior coming down, which we can. One shot. It only has, like, what, 140 HP. Uh, we get a Trainer's Mel, so let's Trainer's Mel, let's see what's in here. Uh, b -b 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 we could grab a Karina. Um, which I'm actually okay with. Yeah, let's grab a Karina. We'll put down Aerodactyl, put down a Spirit Link, put down a Regirock, use Karina, and let's see what's in the deck. Uh, we'll grab another Regirock that, oh my goodness, we have our other two Aerodactyls prize. Hmm, alright, but AZ's in here, which is great, so we'll grab Regirock. And I guess we'll grab a Floatstone? Uh, like, I'm cont like, I'm contemplating... Yeah, Floatstone seems like the best thing right now. We could get an Ultra Ball, but Floatstone seems like the best play. Uh, we'll keep it in our hand as of right now, just in case our opponent lights in or somebody's up. Put down Regirock, put down a DCE, and... Do we put... We'll end our turn right now. Uh, let's play Trainer's Mill. I'm not sure what we're digging for, but... Okay, Friday Stadium. We'll grab a Skyfield. Um, yeah, Skyfield seems, Skyfield seems fine. We'll grab a Skyfield, put that down, just so we get rid of the Force of Giant Plants. And we will just end our turn. All right, so on to my opponent's turn. Let's see what's going to happen. Next turn, we will uh, Fall Stone, Sycamore, hopefully hit the Mega Aerodactyl, Fighting Energy, drop some Red Rocks, maybe a uh, Mr. Mime. Super Scoop Up is the Tails, okay. The only thing that kind of scares me is the uh, Superior. Oh, and we're going to see an end come down as well. Oh, man. Okay, Sycamore. Okay, I'm fine. Whoa, discards two. Uh, Servines, uh, they might have a, uh, what is it, a, uh, Super, Super Rod, a Snivy comes down, a Grass and you're going to Superior, a uh, Forest of Giant Plants coming down, okay. A Muscle Band going on to the, uh, Sceptile EX, and a pass on to our turn, okay. So we get a Strong Energy, alright, if we can find 
a Mega Air Dactyl. We are good to go. So let's take a more discard our hand, draw on seven new cards, and we got the Ultra Ball. So we can Ultra Ball, discard the Lysander and the Skyfield. And with this, we'll grab a Mega Air Dactyl. Come to me, Mega Air Dactyl. Let's start the party. So put down the Mega Air Dactyl. We will free retreat into the Mega Air Dactyl. And we will take a knockout with the Rock Drill Drive. Now, we didn't get a, a Mr. Mime down, so we'll, but we will take binge damage. But uh, we're okay. Uh, can we knock out that Sceptile EX next turn? There's an Air Dactyl, which is great. Uh, Superior comes up. It's going to hit us for 100, uh, which I'm not too worried about. I get, once the Ari Dust comes down, that's when I'll start getting worried. There's a Max Survive. I'm going to put a Servine into their hand, okay. Which they could go for Paralyzation this turn. Or, yeah, Paralyzation, I think is what it is. Via Seeker for Sycamore. Okay, oh, Max already puts it on top of their deck. I was so confused for a second. I was like, what's going on? Why is he not uh, Why is he not putting down the Servine? But I forgot Max already puts it on top of the deck. Grass is going to Sceptile. We see a Snivy coming down. We'll see the Superior come down. And is it a head? Is it a head? So we are paralyzed. All right, so we can't attack this turn, which is very unfortunate. So that comes down. Uh, Poison's Nest, we are poisoned as well, okay. Oh, um, man, so Quill is going to do a 60 damage, okay. Alright, so Poison hits us for 10 onto our turn. I think what I'm going to do... Oh, wow, that's a... Oh, man. Alright, so we're going to put down a, a DC on this guy. Spirit Link. And I'm actually going to Via Seeker for a Lysander and bring up the shaman so that way if we take a knockout like if the shaman stays in the active spot we can take a knockout on next turn and this resets the uh superior as well so my opponent needs a switch to actually attack with septile so they're actually not throwing a knockout next turn uh let's put down the fighting stadium as well so that way my opponent can't put down uh like super scoop up or something uh so we'll get we'll hit for 10 we get unparalyzed almost my opponent's turn and we can knock out the shaman next turn uh which is the plan but they could attach the grass energy retreat uh, but I just didn't want my opponent to knock us out with the superior. I would have done a uh, slashy strike for 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, which would knock us out. And oh, there is a DCE, a Jurassic discard your DCE. Grass into to the active. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So we're going to see a retreat probably. Oh man, that's a Jurassic play. All right, but who does my opponent send up? It looks like they will send up the superior. It looks like we might see another coil, most likely. Uh. Yeah, probably a cool. Oh, a slashing strike. They're just gonna go for the hundred damage. Which does that knock us out? No, that does not knock us out. Going to our opponent's turn. So on our turn, what do we top deck? An AZ. Hmm. Oh man. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna AZ pick up the Hoopa. I am going to float stone. Let's play the Hoopa. And with this, we'll search for a Shaman and a Mega Aerodactyl. I know there's two are in the deck. Uh, so no, not Red Rob. Get back in there. Uh, these two guys, okay. And with this, we gotta draw a DCE. Uh, or another energy. We could retreat to this Aerodactyl as well. So put down the Aerodactyl. Mega Aerodactyl. We'll float stone the Hoopa. And we'll go for a Shaman setting up. Now, if we find an energy, we tackle this guy. Uh, which we do have to discard this energy, but I think we'll be okay. And we get the DCE. So what we can do is put an energy on the active. We can Rock Joe Drive. For the knockout, but the poison will knock us out, come back into our turn, which is very unfortunate. Uh, everybody takes 10 damage on both sides, okay? We'll go down to four price cards. Now, who will my opponent send up is the question. Karina coming to our hand. If we see the Sceptile come up, we could knock it out next turn. How much HP is left on it? 150. So here's the Sceptile. Uh, he could just pass and knock us out. Uh, un Sleep Poison can knock us out as well. He could attach a Grass Energy to somebody else if he wants to. Uh, we'll see what our opponent decides to do here. Now, there's a Sleep Poison, okay? So he's going to take two price cards. And, all right, we're asleep. Oh, no. But he's going to take two price cards. We're going 4-4, four, four, but we can knock out the Sceptile, which is great. Uh, let's see. 110, 120, 30, 140, 150. So, yeah, we're going to knock it out regardless. Let's send it to Hoopa. Do we just... No, we don't have any fighting energy. In the... We don't have a letter. So I'm going to Ultra Ball. Discard Karina. And the Trainer's Mel. We're not going to grab anything. How many? We could grab a Mr. Mime, Sycamore, uh, two Strong Energies, and one Fighting Energy. Hmm. What to do? You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to... I'm not going to grab anybody. 
And I'm just going to play Shaman, setting up for a 3. And then I'm going to Sycamore to draw more cards. I think that's the best play. Because if we get an energy... Okay, that's not an energy. How many Via Seekers are in a discard pile? 1 and 2 Lysanders. So yeah, we have to go for the Sycamore. We need to hit an energy card. We'll have 12 cards left. Do we hit one or not? And we do get a Fighting Energy, which is great. So put that on the Mega Aerodactyl. We will free retreat. Into the Aerodactyl, we'll take a knockout with the Rock Drill Drive. Everybody take 10 damage. The question is, it's going to come down to a coin flip because if my opponent gets another superior, uh, Servine down, they could paralyze us, making it where we can't attack. There's a strong energy in N, okay. We'll see superior come up. Slashing Strike will not knock us out, um, but let's see what does my opponent have. Does he have another Servine or not? If he doesn't, we can be a secret for Lysander, bring out the Shaman, take our last two prize cards with this Mega Aerodactyl deck. There's an Ultra Ball discarding a Via Seeker and a Trainer's Mel. They could have probably grabbed an N. Uh, do they have an N in the discard pile? They do not have an N. Uh, but they do have a Zerosic, which is very scary. There is... Oh, man. Here it comes. Here is the Servine. And a Talos. All right. So we're good right now. And what does my opponent have? He discarded the Via Seeker, which could grab a Zerosic. It looks like he opts to go for the Paralyzation play. There's a Poison's Nest. Gonna poison both of us. Does he have anything else or not? What's that one card in his hand? And a slashing strike will come down. We will survive this turn. And we will take the game with the Mega Aerodactyl Reggie Rock deck. We even have a horrible start. So we'll put a strong energy in the active. Via Seeker for a Lysander. Gonna bring up that Shaman EX and take the game. Come to me, Shay Bay. I'm sorry, Shaman. You're my favorite Pokemon, but you give me two free prize cards. So we'll rock Joe Drive. Mary Mega Aerodactyl will take a game against this superior Mega Sceptile deck. We even prize two Aerodactyls as well. So there you go. But we'll see one more game with the deck with Mega Aerodactyl. Can we get another win or not with the deck? Hey, we did it one time, and we'll see what happens in the next game with the Rogue Tuesday playing Mega Aerodactyl. Who would have thunk it? All right, uh, get a mystery prize as well. What do we get off the mystery prize? 11 tokens. We'll press done. What is our mystery prize? 50 more tokens. All right, we'll see what happens in the next game. All right, you're putting against Flongo, playing a colors and a psychic deck. This is most likely going to be a Mega Alakazam deck. I mean, they got the sleeves. They got pretty much everything that you want in Mega Alakazam. But we are going first, which is great. And, okay, so we have... We have a pretty good turn one. Uh, the only downside is we might have to discard a Floatstone. But, uh, looks like my opponent didn't. Oh my goodness, it's a Mega Mewtwo deck. Okay, I was way off. I thought it was Mega Alexander, but it's a Mega Mewtwo deck. Both these are pretty hard matchups, though. Uh, we really can't one-shot these uh, these Megas. Like, they are pretty hard for us to knock out. We'll draw one from Mulligan. And, okay, there's a shame at start. So we're going to Ultra Ball. Discard Lysander and Sycamore. With this, come on, Hoopa, please, let me press. I'm counting on you, Hoopa, and woo, Hoopa's here. All right, so Hoopa to the rescue. Uh, we'll put a strong in it. Oh, we'll put down the, the Hoopa. We'll search for three EX Pokemon. With this, we'll grab a Regirock, Regirock, and a Shebe. Come on down, Shebe. All right. <clears throat> so, put those cards into our hand. We'll put down a Regirock, Regirock. Uh, Aerodactyl, Spirit Link, Strong Energy on the Active, Floatstone, one of the Red Jogs, and Will Shaman setting up for four whole new cards. Wow, this is a great turn one so far. Can't complain. And, all right, there's a Trainer's Mode. We'll play that. We'll grab a Sycamore. No, I mean, I really don't want to play a Sycamore because we have three, three DCs in our hand. So, we'll put a Floatstone on the Active. We'll AZ... Pick up the Shaman, put it back down, draw in two cards. Can we find a Karina or a N for the following turn? That is the real question. So we're going to set it for two. One and two. And there's a Mega Aerodactyl and an N. Wow. So that's a pretty good turn number two going to happen. We have an Aer Aerodactyl, DCE, and we can knock out Shaman. Puts a pressure on the field. There's a Trainer's Mel. And let's see what our opponent gets down. Uh, there's an Ultra Ball. So we'll see what kind of deck they're playing. I mean, we saw the Mega Mewtwo Y uh, when they mulligan. So that's great for us. We have the turn two attack right now. Uh, as of right now. That could change. Uh, Enhanced Hammer. Zerosig. Crushing Hammer. And he actually Ultra Ball discards the Mega Mewtwo. Why? He must have another one in his hand. And there's a Hoopa. We're going to see a Scoundrel And he's going to search for three EX. Oh, and there's a Megaphone. No, Megaphone. Why you do this to me? Discard the Flowstones and our farting. And our. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. So my opponent's going to Scoundrel Going to search for three EX Pokemon. Ugh. It's always really bad. All right, so we're going to see a, a Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo, and a Shaman come into their hand, okay? Can we top deck a Karina? If we do, we could probably get another Link out. There's a Mewtwo coming down. 
Uh, does he have an energy attachment for the turn as well? There's a shaman going to set up for two. Can he find an energy or not is my question. One, two. And, man, we top deck Link. Oh, and it hits. Oh, my goodness. My opponent has everything. Oh, my goodness. He had the megaphone and the enhanced hammer. So there's a the Skyla for Link. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so no energy for my turn, my opponent. Okay. Sort of DC the active. And we're just going to Mega Evolve. That seems okay. All right, so my opponent's turn. It was, we had a very slow number two, but man, that, that had a hand stammer and the spirit. Like, like both the things that we don't want to happen, happened last turn. All right, so there's a Mega Mewtwo coming down. My opponent's turn does not end uh, because they have the Link. There's a Train as well. Go look at the top four cards of their deck. Uh, they did Skyla for the Link. We don't know they have another supporter card in their hand, but let's see what the Trainer Mill gets my opponents. Hopefully not another enhanced stammer. Fingers... Oh, sorry about that. Fingers are crossed. Uh, the Trainer's Ball will not get my opponent anything. And we see an AZ. Going to pick up that Shaman. Yep. And here comes Mega Mewtwo. Now, does my opponent have a DC? Their Shaman set up for four new cards. Let's see. A DC do 3, 6, 9, 12. 150 damage will happen if they find this DC. I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, oh, just a pass. All right. So, on our turn, we get a Karina. So, I'm going to Ultra Ball. Discard Sycamore and the Karina. We're gonna grab an Air Dactyl. I guess. Uh, uh, Alright, yeah, we'll grab Air Dactyl. Okay. We'll put down the Air Dactyl. We'll Shaman. I mean, that Shaman will end. Uh, getting a whole new hand up six. And can we find an energy? A fighting energy? No. <laughs> no. Okay, but we might still have this. Alright, so we're, we're gonna play a uh, Trainer's Mel. All right, there's an Ultra Ball. Okay, so we can, can we can keep the party going. Uh, we'll grab the Ultra Ball. We'll Ultra Ball discard via Seeker and in. And with this, we'll grab another Shaman. I think there's another Shaman in the deck. Yep, there is. All right, so we'll grab a Shaman. Whew, all right, so we'll put down a Skyfield. We will link the Bench Air Dactyl. We'll Shaman set up for five new cards. Give me a strong energy. Please, Pokemon, help me out here. And... All right, so we'll put down Mr. Mime, and we will just end our turn. Oh, my goodness. We couldn't find an energy. Oh, man. All right. So, no opponent's turn. Very unfortunate events, because what's going to happen now, if they have a DCE, they will knock us out before we knock them out. If they find a DCE, that is the question. There's a train as well. Going to look at the top four cards of their deck. And let's see. It looks like they're going to get nothing again. Okay. I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of that a lot. Uh, there's a Sycamore. Going to discard that hand. Draw on seven new cards. Uh, Mega Turbo. Uh, Hex Maniac. Uh, there's a Trainer's Melt. Man, do they whiff an energy as well? That'd be amazing. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. If we play down... The, if we get down one more Pokemon, if we get down another Red Rock, we'll have a perfect field because we can put down the Red Rock. Uh, put down Fighting Stadium. Discard Hoopa. Shaman Shaman. And we'll be okay. All right, but we just got to find a fighting energy. Let's see what the trainers will get my opponents. That is the big, big question. Man, I can't believe. Oh, uh, there's an Ultra Ball. Okay, we might see another Shaman coming out. They've already played two. Uh, do they have another one? They could get another Mewtwo online as well. They've already played a support card. Okay. Let's see what Flongo has for Flongo. I just realized his name was Flongo. All right, let's see what he has for us. Uh, we could get another Mega Air Dactyl down. Get another Regirock down. Oh, all we just need is this energy. There's an Ultra Ball. Okay, going to discard a Spirit Link and a Mega Turbo. Will we see another Shaman or not? That is the big, big question. Uh, looks like he's going to get nothing. Okay. There's a Psych Energy, so he cannot... Unless he has a Dimension Valley, he cannot attack this turn. And what does... Okay, so pass on our turn, all right? And there is a Strong Energy. Yes, we got it. All right, so put down the Strong Energy. And I'm going to be a Seeker for Karina. And with this Karina, we can get down a Regirock. And and there we see a Victory Street coming down. My opponent can see it in the game. And Mega Aerodactyl taking the game. Uh, so what we would have done is we would have Karina for a Regirock. And then uh, I'm not sure what the other card would have been. I don't know what's in my deck. Maybe another VS Seeker or something. We would have put the Fighting Stave down, put down the Regirock. We would have discarded the, the Shaman, Shaman, and the Hoop. And do 
a hundred. Oh man, so let's see. We would have done 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. And then next turn, we could have knocked out the Mega Mewtwo before they knocked us down. Unless they got, let's see, they got a DCE. They do uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 190, uh, which would not be a knockout. Then we could have powered the, the Bench Aerodactyl, got that ready to go. And uh, we would have knocked out the Mega, and we probably would have won the prize exchange. So it looks like we were going to win the game. My opponent realized that and decided to scoop the game. That turn one by my opponent, we have like the enhanced hammer, the megaphone, they had everything. But we still pulled it out. So my opponent whiffed energies, we whiffed energies, we both were just dead drawn back and forth. But Mega Aerodactyl does take the game against the Mega Mewtwo deck. You can see how we were, were probably going to win. Um, and then we could have probably got another Mega Aerodactyl up before they could attack, which would be really great. Uh, the only thing is, they could have DC to Sky Return. That could have knocked us out, maybe. Um, but yeah, that was definitely a weird game. But there we go. There's Mega Aerodactyl Red Rock. I know this game, we didn't see it that much, but you saw that we was going to win this game. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this Mega Aerodactyl Red Rock deck. Hey, who knows? Maybe this is a secret play for Nationals. Probably not, but, uh, that... There we go. We had some fun today. And don't worry, the next couple of Road Tuesdays are going to be a lot of fun. We're going to play some really strange decks, and I am very excited to see these decks in action. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Tuesday. Alrighty. Bye. Alright, guys. Just want to give a quick shout-out to our two sponsors, 60 Cards and Yeti Gaming. The links are down below to their websites. Make sure you go check them out. Alrighty.